Good morning, Tabernacle Church. Good morning. Well, we are really excited this morning. One of my favorite parts of worship to the Lord is seeing people go to the water. <laughs> seeing people make that profession of faith, telling the world, I have made this, this decision. I have made this choice, and I'm going to let everybody know about it. Um, and my name is Liz Vieira. Many of you may not know me, but I served as children's pastor at the Tabernacle for nine years, and it's my great privilege to be here today um, bringing um, two people to the waters. So excited. And we have first Ines Espinosa. And like um, pastor, a pastor said, we are going to be doing a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of English, so, um, so that she understands, so that she has, she has that full experience, right? So, this is Ines. Ines, nos puedes decir por qué um, decidiste bautizarte? Porque reconozco a mi Jesús y a mi Dios como dador de vida. Because I acknowledge Jesus as my King and the giver of life. Y una vida nueva que nos da para compartir con nuestras familias. Y debo reconocer muchos milagros que ha hecho con mis hijos y con mi última hija y con mi nieta. And she, she acknowledges that he is, he is the giver of new life and she wants to acknowledge this morning what the Lord has done, many miracles in her life. We got to talk this week and she has gone two times through cancer and she feels that the Lord has brought her through it so that her children are a miracle and that she has seen a miracle in her daughter's life, in her children's lives, in her granddaughter's life. So she comes to the water acknowledging who God is, what he has done for her, and how she wants to live for him. Ines, Ines, nosotros cuando entramos a las aguas, Entramos um, en representación de, de, de cómo Jesús fue sepultado y fue resucitado de una nueva vida. Just like Jesus was put into a grave, he was, he was uh, buried and then he was brought forth and res resurrected to new life. That is what baptism is. And I'm explaining to Inés how important this decision is. Y así... Y así como Jesús lo hizo, y usted también ha decidido hacerlo, yo lo voy a bautizar a usted en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Sepultado en Cristo, resucitado en una nueva vida. ¡Aleluya! ¡Aleluya! ¡Dios libre! I wanted to share, this past week I, I spoke to Inez and one of the things, one of the reasons that she wanted to get baptized is because last month she was here at the church and she saw baptisms. And she was inspired by seeing other people making the decision to come into the waters to do that herself. And just like that, I was telling her, you are also going to inspire other people to take that step of obedience and come into the waters an acknowledgement of who Christ is in their lives. This is Andrea, and Andrea is Ines' daughter. This is and Ines called her daughter, who lives in New Jersey, and she said, I am getting and New York, New York. She called, she called her, her daughter, and she says, I am getting baptized, and her daughter said, me, 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 I do, I want to get baptized too. And we celebrate. Uh, uh, Andrea, why are you here today? Why do you want to get baptized? Um, be because even though I've known God and Jesus my entire life, and I've seen so many miracles in my life, um, especially right now with my daughter, um, this January uh, I recommitted my, my vows to God, to Jesus. On uh, January 25th, 2024, I know exactly where and when, and I felt the need to follow and obey Jesus' command. Awesome. And, um, and a, a detail that we spoke about earlier this week is that this happened January 25th, not in a service, not anywhere, just the conviction of the Holy Spirit coming upon her. I believe it was at home, right? Yeah. Yes, at home. Okay. So that is something that we could praise the Lord for, that he could reach us wherever we are. Amen. So, so Andres, you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I baptize you today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bury with him in baptism, grace, to new life in him. Now, if we could just extend our hands over here and let's pray a 
your blessing upon um, Ines and Andrea this morning. And thank the Lord for the miracle of living for him. Heavenly Father, we just thank you today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are the one that gave us Jesus. You are the one that gave us that bridge. You are the one that gave us a way out, Lord Jesus, from our sins, from our transgressions. And we are just so grateful. We are thankful to you this morning, Lord Jesus, because we have two lives that have decided to follow, to obey you, Lord Jesus, to obey you in the step of baptism, Lord Jesus. And just like they were inspired by others, Lord Jesus, I ask you that you even touch hearts this morning of people that need to make the decision, Lord Jesus, for you. And I, I pray a blessing upon my sisters because they are my sisters. They are part of your family, Lord Jesus. And I pray, a, I pray a blessing upon them, Lord Jesus. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you lead them. That you lead them, that you guide them, Lord Jesus. That you, that you will be over their lives in a mighty way, Lord Jesus. That they may grow, that they may serve, Lord Jesus. And that they may be a blessing to others in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.